Well now, people, you've heard of mobile homes, you've heard of mobile libraries, mobile fish and chip shops, now meet the mobile garden. Yes, that's what I was like when I was driving home for the uh, garden centre. All these lovely little plants on here. And yes, I did get quite a lot of looks off people when I was coming down the road with all this on here. Well, how else do you expect this to get you home? And of course, I'm not really a keen gardener. I just buy things. I just thought because they look nice. And we've got some, uh, is it fruit? Yeah, we've got some fruit as well to go in. We've got strawberries, we've got gooseberries, we've got some raspberries as well. Nice, isn't it? Mobile strawberry garden, what do you think? Think I've set a new trend now. Oh. Well, I suppose I better start getting it all unloaded now. Alright then, let's get stuck in a boat and get some of these plants in place. Okay then, so where did I put the plants when I got back? A minute, I forgot radio stop playing. I'll just switch it off. Sorry for that, we don't want to get done for copyrights. <laughs> right, where did I put the plants when I got back? Okay then, there's one of them hiding just over there. See that white one there? That was one that I brought back. The other one, which is called Celosia, I think, which is that one there, the purple one, right? I bought them. So they went in there, and as you can see, it's all looking very nice now. So we'll move off now and we'll go to the next plant. But we where we put the other ones. Right. And if we look just in here, there's that one there, and the one next to it was one I planted, but unfortunately I had an accident when I was watering it. I knocked the head off the one on this side here, this one here, knocked the head off. And if you look behind it, you see the other, well, that weird name, Salo, what's it called again? Salosia, well, that's how you pronounce it. And just over there, and there at the back, was another little one that I bought. You see, there. I'm hoping that one sprouts up a bit and comes up. And as you can see, the lilies are really came out very, very nice. I really am surprised with them. They are very nice. Because the lily on the left hand side, that one's still blossoming yet. And I think we have actually just seen the other one. Anyway, now we'll move to the plant pot that I actually made and made a video on that one. We'll go and have a look at that one now. Right, now we can have a look at this one in its splendor. This is the one I made a video on, this one here on how we actually make these. Now, as you can see, right up above, there is a gooseberry plant up there, and there is a raspberry plant up there. We've got bushes actually, to be honest with you, but man, I'm not exactly a gardener. And the two flowers, that's because I didn't have any more room to put them anywhere, and I thought, well, it looked a bit bland, because we also bought some carrot seeds, and we planted carrot seeds uh, up in there as well. Now, how we did that was, with the bags, or compost that we had just at the last layer I suppose you could you could say we sprinkled this stuff sure grew all purpose six months feed it's got brown ones and like like bluey ones I suppose you could say in there you can see it for this side no this side here yeah, like so see there well the darker ones they're the slow feed and the lighter ones they just disintegrate when the right water hits them and it feeds it up so it meant we had a layer and then we had put the compost on top of that and we gave it a bit of a mix up and of course gave it a good watering and then I said we planted the gooseberry and we planted the raspberries and of course I hung the strawberry ones here and here and also I made my holes at the end here because when you're sitting on the bench and you have over watered it what you don't want is you don't want the water coming down on you where you're sitting which normally I put the holes along this way so I put the holes at the end. Then I realized I've made one hole too many at the end. So I've covered it over now. So when you do water this, any excess water drips down on top of these plants. Here, the strawberry plants. Well, I just thought it was a clever idea, just utilizing everything you've got. And of course, I also put some of this stuff in as well when I planted the plants. Whether or not it does any good or not, I don't know, but well, as I said, you gotta try your best as you possibly can with your plants. 
So you can see it now how it actually works and how it hangs. And I was thinking of getting some more strawberry plants and actually putting them higher up, but I don't know, I don't think I'll bother now. I think I've done enough really. And as I say, we've got the carrots now. So we're going to have a look now where the carrots are. Oh yeah, and two of the stalks on one each of the strawberry plants was broken. So what I decided to do was, was cut them last night and put them in some water. So we'll have a look at them as well. And the two gooseberries that I've actually got. Now then, as we can see here, I'm not probably that window will pick up on the camera as well. This is where I put these ones. I put a bit of feed in there and some little crystals. And you can see, if you see in the bottom down there, the actual blue ones have disintegrated. And I'm hoping these gain roots and I can have some additional strawberry plants. Well, we'll wait and see on that one. And if you look here, and we look here, you see my little gooseberry plants. So I'll bring you in for a closer look on that one if I can. So you see, now we can have a closer look at them. This leaf will get out of the way and play ball. I think moved it. See, all gooseberry, all gooseberry. Not bad for a start, isn't it? And if you look down the very bottom down here, you can see the blue ones have dissolved. But the darker ones haven't dissolved. You see? So that's my claim to fame at the moment. My little gooseberries. So inside here, this is where all the carrot seeds are. I did them last night, you see. Uh, why carrots? Uh, the dog likes carrots? Well, she likes carrots as well. We eat carrots too now and again, now and again. But we couldn't get any strawberry plants to actually put in, otherwise we would have put them in. They came in hanging baskets, so we left them in the hanging baskets. And if you look closely, at the strawberry plants now I think you can see an improvement already and it's only been 24 hours after I actually did all this and look at it I think they're looking rather nice sounds to disappear again just find the cloud they'll be back out just now so this stuff here grows cure I've been recommended to try it out and do it it feeds them naturally it feeds them a lot better so well we'll give it a go I've still got the rest of the plant pus to do I did the two up there on the on my right anyway, because <coughs> probably you left. I did them. Uh, whether or not it's got to do any good or not, we don't know. We'll wait and see. But as I say, I'm looking forward to the strawberry plants. They really have came on quite well, actually. And as I said, two of the stalks are broken, so I've put them in water up there. And let's hope they grow then. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the mobile garden. It was quite fun actually coming home with that actually. I did get a lot of looks and I did get more looks off women than I did blokes. Blokes just seemed to look away and sort of, oh yeah, right. But the women, they liked it. They all smiled at us. Or maybe they were just smiling at the plants. And not me. That probably was plants. Anyway, my name's Milton. Charles got a little Melto. Generally, I don't do plants and things. Generally, I do tools and a bit of woodworking and sorting out other little problems. But then again, people are interested in gardens, so fine. Mobile garden, that's what I'm going to call this one. As I say, thanks very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Thumbs up, thumbs down, I'm easy going. Anyway, I'll see you when the next time I'll probably be going on about mastic guns maybe? We'll have to wait and see on that one. Okay, bye now.